So this is the next question that we have and they have taken this question from the topic of structural organization in animals where we learn about all the basic epithelial cells which are present inside the body. Now it says that ciliated epithelial cells, yes, so ciliated epithelial cells are actually ciliated columnar epithelial cells are required to move the particles or mucus in a specific direction. So wherever there is mucus, it should not be allowed to accumulate there or if it is accumulating there, it can cause many other problems. So it has to be moved in a particular direction and all the particles have to be moved in a particular direction. So in those kind of areas, these are present. So that is very clearly mentioned in the question. So they are talking about ciliated epithelial cells. Now in humans, these cells are present in. So from the options, we need to find out where they are actually present. So ciliated columnar epithelium, I have just made a small representation of these cells. Now these ciliated columnar epithelial cells, as we know, it is a columnar epithelial cell. So it is long, slender kind of cells. They are arranged one after the other in this way. Now we say that the nucleus is oval in shape. So the nucleus is oval in shape. So this is one of the very important distinguishing feature. And this oval shaped nucleus is located towards the base in this particular way. So they are aligned in this particular axis, in the vertical axis. Now on top of that we will be having the cilia. So that is how a typical ciliated columnar epithelial cells look like. Now let us find out where these cells are actually located. Now we know that uh, fallopian tube is one of the area where one of the areas where this is present. Why? Because it is that area where the ovum has to be transported from the fimbrial end towards the ampullary isthmic junction. So this point is a very very important point. NCRT marks this as one of the most important point there as far as need is concerned. Now you can mark this in your textbook that it is in the ampullary isthmic junction the fertilization occurs and that was a question that was asked in 2016 exam the exam that I appeared for. So in that question, we have to be very sure that it is not in the ampulla, not in the isthmus. Ampullary isthmic junction is the answer. So the site of fertilization in humans is ampullary isthmic junction. No doubt about that. It is very important point over there. Now, other than that, it is also present in the bronchioles. Why is it present in the bronchioles? Because mucus has to be moved away from there. If it accumulates over there, it can cause a lot of problems. It can cause accumulation and that can lead to cough and many other problems that a person can suffer from. So it is this option that we will be right marking as the correct option. So for this question, I will be marking option 3 as the correct choice. So here you need to revise all the important aspects related to the types of epithelium and their features and how to distinguish them from the pictures you've given over there. And CRT from there, they have not taken much pictures over there. So uh, picture related questions are very low, but we cannot say that it is 100% true because in the coming years, they can ask a question based on the images from NCRT. If they are asking this, then this has a high tendency to come. So that's all with this question. We'll proceed to the next.